How's it going guys, Michael with you here and welcome to a kind of short training video. In this video, we're not going to do any coding. Let's take a step back. What I want to do in this video is look at a version control system that we can use in our code and other projects. And in particular, we're going to look at Git. Now, I chose Git because, well, I use Git for all my projects now and I really like how it works. But I've had a few people ask me on forums and elsewhere, what's so good about it and what does it do that Subversion can't do and that kind of thing. So this video is hopefully going to give you a quick primer in how Git works and maybe address why, it's, why I like it so much. So that's what this video is going to cover and let's get into it. So a big disclaimer, if you're coming from another version control system like CVS and Subversion, Git can be kind of hard to get your head around because it has a bit of a different workflow. So the big lesson for this video is there is no CVS, there is no Subversion. Now I'm going to maybe contrast how Subversion would do something compared to how Git does it, but if you're trying to learn Git and you're coming from another version control system, forget about how that version control system works because Git is probably going to be a bit different. So that's, that's the thing to kind of keep in the back of your head for this video. So for more information on downloading Git and all of that kind of stuff, this is the website you need, git-scm.com, um, and that's it. So, let's take a very big step back and talk about what is a version control system. Well, hopefully, if you've done any coding, you'll know that it's important to keep backups of your code at various points. So, this is my important project, and I've got my source directory here. Now, at the very least, say we're going to do some massive overhaul of how the code works. We probably want to keep a backup of how it is now, just in case things don't work out how we want. A very naive way of doing this is pressing copy and pressing paste. Oh, look, Windows is a built-in version control system. And then we can go and rename this, you know, something useful. And there, we've got a tag. This is equivalent of a tag in a version control system. It's n this is a terrible way of working. Um, it's better than not having any backups, but really, you shouldn't work like this because version, controls are s version control systems are so easy to use. There really is no excuse. So, let's come back over to the blackboard now and talk about Git. Well, what is Git? It is a version control system. I think we already know that. Um, and the thing that makes Git different from Subversion, CVS, and all of those is that it is distributed. This is the big thing. It's a distributed version control system. Now what this means is that everyone who has a copy of the source code has the entire Git repository. Okay? It's not if you're working in subversion and you do a checkout, you get a working copy that just contains the current state of the repository. In Git, you get the entire history as well. So this is the big thing and it really changes how you work. So that's that's what Git is. It's a system that allows us to manage our source code, kind of like what we were doing here, but a real version control system can keep a log of what changed at each time, rather than we, us having to create more folders. We can do a diff to see what lines of code changed between what versions, and all these other sorts of things. Um, so version control systems are really useful when we're working in code, and other projects as well. So it's a distributed version control system. Uh, where is it? It was created by Linus Torvalds, who's the original creator of the Linux kernel. Um, and where is it used? Well, it's used in a lot of big projects. So the first one was, of course, the Linux kernel. I can write today. Um, it was you. It's used for the x.org server. It's used for and Google Android, and you know VLC. It's used in a lot of open source projects now. It's really gaining uh, headway. 
So that's just a couple of the projects that use it. So.